everybody welcome live to the gym master show live entertainment lifestyle celebrity talk show series so cool to have you here watching all around the world and we welcome our jms loveties our viewers faithful viewers watching around the world too and if you're new to our show we welcome you from wherever you're watching of course the united states canada throughout north america we welcome our friends in south america throughout europe africa asia new zealand all around the world. Cool to have you here. Also cool to have our great friend Emmett Cahill joining us here. Brilliant, renowned Irish tenor, also a longtime member of Celtic Thunder. Yeah, we're excited to have him here. We're going to chat about a new album, the tour that just wrapped, and he has his own Christmas tour. Now, he's coming to us not from Ireland. He's actually in New York City right now because he's getting ready to kick off his own Christmas tour. We'll tell you about that as well. But the guy's just uh, wrapped up a fantastic American tour, which, of course, is Odyssey, which ties into the new album that's coming out just in a couple of days. So this is really an exclusive on our show to get Emmett for the time that we have here. We're going to talk about Odyssey. We're going to talk about some of the cool things that Celtic Thunder has been up to. Now, you guys that watch the Gym Masters show regularly, we're here in the New York area in the United States, and that's where the show comes from. Uh, you guys know that we've had Neil Byrne on several times. Keith Harkin's been here. Colin Keegan's been here. Evan O'Hallen's been here. Ryan Kelly's been a guest a number of times. Damien McGinty's been here as well. And uh, this will be the first time we welcome uh, Evan Cahill to the show. and so excited about it. You guys also know that I've had a very long and great relationship with the gang from Celtic Thunder. Just like with Celtic Woman, and we had Marie Nesbitt back on the show a couple of nights ago, uh, they're celebrating their 20th uh, anniversary. Celtic Thunder, ever since they came to America, I had the pleasure to interview them on PBS, just like the ladies from Celtic Woman. And ever since they arrived in America, I've had these opportunities to connect with the guys. And uh, then when we launched the Gym Master Show Live, they're like, gee, hey, we want to come on the show. We love it. And you've seen several of your favorites here. You can go back in the archives and see the guys. But uh, Emmett is here. There's just some cool shots over the years with the guys from Celtic Thunder. And of course, George Donaldson, who we think about and talk about often. But we've had some amazing conversations and, and just great things on national television here in America with uh, the guys from uh, Celtic Thunder. And we're so honored to have Emmett here on the show. So again, Odyssey, just tell you really quickly about Odyssey. It's fantastic because following their triumphant 35 city tour across the United States and Canada, the internationally acclaimed music sensation Celtic Thunder, which most of you here in America and in Canada have seen on PBS, they're thrilled to announce the release of their highly anticipated album, Odyssey, featuring songs inspired by their recent tour, the Celtic Thunder Odyssey CD set, is really set to hit all streaming platforms in the USA on the 24th. That's just a couple of days from now. And fans can secure their copies by pre-ordering the CD on the band's official website, CelticThunder.com. Odyssey embarks on a captivating exploration of Irish music and culture, weaving together the ensemble's rich history with innovative new sounds. And the album takes listeners on a sweeping journey through traditional Irish music, heartlands, the rhythmic beats of contemporary Irish tunes and original arrangements that define Celtic Thunder's distinctive sound. And each member of Celtic Thunder contributes their unique voice and charisma to the musical expedition, which is incredible, creating a harmonious blend that resonates with a diverse audience. And the shared musical chemistry deep rooted in their Irish heritage sort of uh, imbues the performance and compelling strength of the album. Some of you may have seen the tour as well, and uh, you're sort of excited about, uh, you know, having an opportunity to see this conversation coming up. Uh, so yeah, there are the guys, and we just want to show you there is the album. You can pre-order yours. You can get it because it's coming out just a couple of days, and it's really exciting, and we're excited to talk about that and everything Celtic Thunder, but also with our special guest, Emmett Cahill, because he's got some exciting things to talk about with his own Christmas tour as a world-renowned Irish tenor. You guys know I have Irish in my blood too, so come on in, family. Let's have some Irish crack and a good time with Emmett Cahill, who's joining us on the Gym Master Show for the first time. I know you've asked about him being here. 
he's here for a limited time. And of course, he'll be back. Let's welcome him from New York City. Emmett, welcome to the show, my friend. Good to see you again. Jim, great to see you. Thanks so much for having me on. That was quite the introduction. I, um, <laughs> I, we don't we don't often get uh, such a considerable introduction. I think I, I think you covered all the bases. I don't think I need to talk about anything. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's talk about your childhood growing up in Ireland, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, how God, did how much time do you have? Yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely have to have you back because I know it's a busy time. The album's coming out. And again, I know you guys, I've known you guys ever since Celtic Thunder came to America. And we've had this wonderful relationship and friendship. So I'm honored and really, it's a pleasure to see you here. Also, there was a concert you did in New Haven, Connecticut, which was affiliated with the Irish community. And I remember going there as well. And you yeah. just knocked it out of the park. It was really fantastic. Um, we we'll talk about the album quick and everything else coming off the tour, but uh, you grew up really with uh, music around you, right? You attended high school on a music scholarship. And during that time, you really honed your musical skills by delving into piano, organ, violin, and vocal training. And that led yeah. you to graduate from the renowned Royal Irish Academy of Music, where you earned the university degree in music performance. So early on, you got immersed in the musical world, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much from the very start, you know, um, my dad was a piano teacher. My mom was a, a, a church singer, I guess. My dad was also a music minister at our church. So kind of sacred music, classical music was part of our upbringing. Dad will always play the old you know, old recordings of whether it was orchestras or great, even Irish tenors like John McCormick, right back to Caruso, right? Like, I'm a bit of an old soul in terms of my taste in music, as people will know from coming to my shows. And I sing songs that many of them were written, you know, nearly 100 years ago. And, and, and I like to sort of take people on a journey back in time. I think nostalgia is a, is a very powerful emotion and I, and I try to bring that across in my performances and that definitely feeds into Irish music you know so many of these Irish songs that we do with Celtic Thunder and I do myself you know they there's so many universal themes to them there's people can really relate to them whether they have Irish heritage like yourself Jim or, or people who who don't have any they feel very connected to the music so I think there's something very special and unique about Irish music and you know that's why I think Celtic Thunder has become the phenomenon it has you know it's it this is so relatable and we have families coming to shows from the kids right up to the grandparents and the reason for that is because i think there's something everyone can find uh, something personal in these songs and and like to your point then about the album that's what we tried to bring across i feel like odyssey is a journey we're starting a journey for sure with celtic thunder but we're kind of bringing it right back to our roots um to what irishness is what these stories represent and yeah i mean the tour was honestly beyond any of our expectations and that was kind of the start of the odyssey journey and now of course the next step is is the release uh on on thursday on on thanksgiving so very excited about it congratulations to you and the guys i know it's a lot of work behind the scenes but you've stayed in touch with the fans too through stage it and social media and other cool things even during the crazy times of the last couple of years where everything sort of stopped the whole world yeah. stopped you stayed in touch, you stayed connected. And it's one of the reasons why I started this show or two of this series is to stay connected with everybody, which is so important to do, especially when it comes to people who support what you do. And you guys, you are very good at staying connected with and appreciating the fans, right? Yeah, I mean, I think I've, I've said this quite a lot, you know, over the years between meet and greets and interviews and stuff that we in Celtic Thunder have a very unique relationship with our fans. We kind of see them as our family when we're on the road. You know, many of the fans who are watching here today, they've been to our shows. They bring us gifts. They bring us um, they baked goods, which isn't always ideal when you're trying to fit into a suit for an entire tour. Um, but they, they genuinely care about us. They know who our families are. They know, you know really where we've come from and they're interested in us as people beyond just the music i think they care about us as people and we have that very special relationship with the fans and i think that feeds into everything from coming to celtic thunder to supporting the stage it's to supporting us on our on our solo tours as well um we love to see the fans after the shows i know so many of them by first name i know their kids their grandkids you know we've we we really have become like family and we're just so we feel very very blessed you know anyone that comes into the Celtic Thunder world, whether it's a new member or people who come on the road with us, the first thing they say is, 
I've never seen a fan base like the one in Celtic Thunder. And the reason for that is because people just really gravitate towards what we do. They 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 love what we do and, and, and we love having them as part of the family. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a busy week between the album launch and of course we've got stage it a whole new stage it series coming up. Uh starting on Thanksgiving, we start with a Thanksgiving party. Uh, which people um, will will know all about from our previous years. But then we go on four nights. Of, we basically brought a camera crew behind the scenes and brought them on the road with us. So you're seeing a side of Celtic Thunder that you've never, ever seen before. From the morning time when we wake up in the bunk on the bus right to the post-show VIP event, the whole day, the sound check, what we all get up to individually. There's a few hilarious moments. I take the boys for a workout that I think nearly killed them. Um, we have so many brilliant <laughs> moments today, you know, that you get to meet the band, you get to know the crew. Um, so yeah, we wanted to make it fun. Fans have wanted for years to see what it's really like behind the scenes as a Celtic Thunder singer. So this series is going to do that. And it just coincides with, of course, the release, um, of the Odyssey album, our first album in five years. And yeah, we're excited to see what people think. What was it like when you got that call and that invitation to join Celtic Thunder for you? Uh, that experience must have been really something special because look what's happened all these years later with the notoriety, the publicity. And like you say, this tremendous fan base is a result of being part of such a, an incredible ensemble as Celtic Thunder, Emmett. Uh, it was it was obviously a very a, a life-changing moment. In a weird way, Sharon had uh, announced me as a member before she technically told me and I, I know that because I went into college and uh, I went on um, I was in a computer class and I was meant to be working on an economics project of all things and uh, I logged onto my Facebook at the time and there was about 500 new friend requests from people in America and I had no idea what had happened and then I checked my email and Sharon had emailed me you know I was kind of in reserve or whatever you know for the next tour I didn't know if it was 100 percent and she had emailed me to let me know but not until she had announced me on the Celtic Thunder website so <laughs> I had all these people I was like why are all these people in America adding me and then it all started from there but like to your point the fans you know they gravitate towards us they want to know us personally they they care about us as I said beyond just the music and we're very, very lucky to have that. And as I said, that that shows itself in when we do our solo tours. I'm about to do a, a three week Christmas tour, um, starting out west and, and and finishing up on the East Coast. And and so many people, you know, who are on the Celtic Thunder tour are coming to that. And you know, they support our our our, our individual albums as well, like my Christmas album and stuff. But you know, between everything, you know the fans are, have been incredible and you know it's amazing even on the last tour the amount of people who discovered us literally for the first time like they may have found us sort of during the lockdowns or they're on youtube or you know via instagram or even tiktok or social media or even through <laughs> yourself Jim, shows like this conversations this is how you know this is how we're you know good news spreads fast and i think when people discover our music they become lifelong fans and we've had people for 15 years and we've had people for 15 days it doesn't matter people are enthusiastic about it and we yeah we're trying to be as active as possible try to interact with our fans as much as we can particularly with the likes of the stage it's you know releasing new music seeing people on tour um we love it it's become a real way of life I tell you, it really is incredible. And in the many years that, again, I've known you guys and have had an opportunity to either interview uh, all of you uh, together or individually on this series, but also on public television and PBS, I've seen, and even welcome you guys on stage mm -hmm. and MC concerts and all that fun stuff, I've had an opportunity yeah. to really see this fervor that people have for Celtic Thunder. What do you think is the magic? What do you think? Why does Celtic Thunder resonate so deeply with the Thunderheads, with the fans? <laughs> yeah. I, I think probably one of the biggest things is that we're we're real and that the people you see on stage are the people that you interview, the people that you meet on the street, or maybe, you know, outside the theater after the show. I think we all are very grounded as people. We've been brought up with you know great families we have values we 
uh, try to espouse those wherever we go. And then, you know, with the music, I think there's a real honesty about it. Like I often think about music when I'm singing and I'll never sing a song or record a song that I don't truly believe in, truly believe that I can give an honest performance of and, and that I can find a part of myself in. So, you know, to your point about even the new album, the tour, um, I sing a couple of solos uh, on the album. One is Fairly Well Love and the other one is Grace. And, you know, particularly a song like Grace, you know, it was written by two men from my hometown in Ireland. It tells this, you know, incredibly moving story from from back in 1916, you know, the, the days of Irish independence and, and all that that represented. And I think the Irish, particularly abroad, you know, the, like people like yourself, Jimmy, who have Irish ancestry, I think you feel a very personal connection to that because it was the music you were raised on through your, your parents and your grandparents. And, you know, particularly when it comes to somewhere like America, you know, people their lineage is very important to them. Yes, they're American, but they're also, the first thing to tell you is that they're Irish or they're you know, whatever, um, wherever their ancestors came from. So it's very, very important. And I think the music in many ways is a conduit between themselves and, you know, that sense of identity, uh, their experiences. And so music has an amazing ability to unite us. It's it's the universal language, as they say, it, it, it has no barriers. It puts, you know, it doesn't divide us, it, it unites us. And, and as the singers in Celtic Thunder, we're very aware of that. And I think when we get up and we do, we perform honestly, um, we love what we do. I think that kind of snowballs and, and, and people think, wow, these guys are actually the deal. That that guy there, he believes every word he's singing. And that's even hard to come by these days, real honesty um, and real integrity in that. So I think that's why people really gravitate towards it. and you know, long may that continue. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right. And, you know, Odyssey itself, talking about the album and just coming off again, that fantastic tour, Emmett, it really provides a diverse selection of tracks too, right? Weaving a rich tapestry of emotional and musical tones where audiences yeah. are captivated by this dynamic rendition of Go Lassie Go and also the fresh interpretations of City of Chicago, also a fabulous rendition of the parting glass and yeah. also sailing tell us about the album itself and some what the it was like putting the album together and the song selection and the process yeah i mean inevitably with with an album particularly an irish album there's so many great songs and then i suppose i i was kind of surprised um as how how many of these great songs we Celtic Thunder hadn't recorded? Because I feel like after 15 years, people said to us, have you recorded all the best Irish songs? Well, we hadn't actually. There were still some incredible gems out there like Grace, The Fields of Athen Rai, um, you know, even new songs, a song called One More Day, which was made famous by, by Sinead O'Connor. It's a real majestic, you know, huge ensemble number that, it, and it was a real high moment in the show as well. So, you know, in terms of that process, we think about that we think about the journey of an album not just singles you know you think about the experience of sitting listening to an album what that is you want to go on a journey and that's kind of why we called it odyssey as well because we want people you know it's the same when they come to the live shows we always say to them we're going to take you on a journey for the next hour and a half two hours you know and during that time there'll be there'll be ups and downs the roller coaster of emotions from you know people the tear jerking moments they usually give those to me uh, <laughs> to the real to funny moments, to to real joyous, um, exciting moments. And I think that's what people want to feel when they come to a show. It's what they want, particularly when they're listening to an album now. And so many of our fans will sit down, listen to an album straight through and go on the, the experience of that. So, um, yeah, we had all that in mind when we were putting the album together. And um, I think that feeds into everything. I think you need to think about music beyond just wor you know words and notes and even nice singing or it's pleasant on the ears. I think it needs to have a real depth to it. And the songs that we pick all have at the center of it, a compelling human story, because I think that's what people want nowadays. We can all get light entertainment, you know, it's, it's, at, it's at our fingertips all the time, but I think now and again, you should sit and, you know, allow yourself to go a level deeper, you know, emotionally. And as I said, music is the conduit. It's you know, these songs, like I've been up, on stage a night singing a song like grace or a danny boy over the years and you're sitting there Jim, and you're smiling at me but the person beside you has tears running down their face now why is that it's because of your own personal experiences that you're suddenly sort of reliving through 
an Irish song. So it's yeah. a powerful thing. And we're very conscious of that when we're putting an album together. And as I said, that's why I think people love what we do because we're real. Uh, we tell, you know, compelling stories. And in many ways, we're the vessel for for these people and the stories that need to be told. So I hope that all comes across <laughs> in the album. It does, yeah. It, it, well, it has on all the albums, all the public television specials, all the concert performances and everything that's happened to stage it's as well. And then, of course, one of the cool things which I've got a chance to see behind the scenes and of course, people have seen on stage and can see, you know, in various uh, iterations of performance, how you guys banter with one another and tease each other and have so much fun with each other and some of the incredible stories of the adventures on the bus and behind the scenes and, and what it's like, especially, you know, when you get a bunch of people together and you're going from city to city. And I remember one time when we were together uh, before the you guys were on some so it, at that point and i believe it was during this time when i was welcoming you guys on stage you were on the cusp then of like a 70 city tour so you guys right. have really seen you know america canada and the globe but you have a lot of fun together you're you're like brothers in a yep. way right and that adds to the whole thing that people seem to relate to Yeah, right. Sorry, Jim. I, lo I lost you there for a second, but I have you now. Um, yeah, absolutely. I think I think the thing that um, again shows that we're real, and the thing that people love is that relationship that we all have. We are like brothers. Uh, we have so much fun together. I mean, this I can see with the with the comment boxes here. Um, folks are talking about like Neil, and he's a, he's a, he's the older guy in the group, but honestly, he is great hilarious. Guy. He never stops joking around you know myself and 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 and, and damien have obviously known him for for many many years as well so we yeah i think that's honestly that's kind of what keeps us sane on the road as well because it's a very unusual life being on tour and to to go back to what i mentioned about the stage it's this week that's the same thing it's bringing people behind the scenes to see how it all happens how we get from the morning right up to 7 30 8 o'clock when we hit the stage and and uh you know i think i think we like to show that you know we're just we're normal guys at the back of it obviously we're on stage in front of thousands of people but we are uh you know we're we we've been brought up in sort of normal families we've we've had all those experiences that the audience have had in their life so i think there is that very special connection but um yes we, we're irish and we know how to have have banter and enjoy ourselves and in some ways not take life too seriously especially in the difficult moments we always say it'll be grand and uh it uh it always turns out pretty well you know, uh, your family, I'm sure, has been really excited and proud by everything that's gone on in your life, too, because you have the relationship with Celtic Thunder, but then you also, which several of the guys have been able to do successfully, have your own solo career and the support of that. What's that been yeah. like, having a solo career, but also having the support of your family who know what it took to get to this level? I mean, uh, it's... It it's pretty special. I think for my parents, you know, I'm, I'm very close with, my, with, with both my mom and my dad. My dad was my busy, biggest musical influence and probably will always be my, my musical hero. He, he gave me the gift of music. Um, you know, my mom is, you know, we're more like friends than sort of, <laughs> sort of parent and child. Like we, yes. we, we get on so well. People, people often say to be about my, my relationship with my mom, that's, it's, it's very unique and close. And, um you know she's the first person i uh, i call when i make a call during the day and and uh you know so so they sacrificed a lot to um get me to where i am i never forget that so for special moments when i you know played in carnegie hall when i did my first symphony orchestra show in america i bring i, I brought my family out particularly for my mom and dad to kind of in some ways see the fruits of their labor but also to remind them that you know they put in the hard yards to make all this happen. And, and uh, you know, that's very important to remember because, you know, no man is an island and wherever you are in your life, it's a, it's an accumulation of good people around you, helping you from parents to school, to music education, to the people you tour with. The other guys in Celtic Thunder are unbelievably supportive. And, you know, that has obviously fed into great success in my solo career. And 
the next step is, is my upcoming upcoming tour obviously uh my christmas tour and i'm out in the spring again um so it's yeah i i i it's never lost on me that a lot of people have been so good to me obviously i work on my talent I, I i work on that but you know a talent a voice is nothing without the audience there to listen and enjoy it and support it so that i'm you know all i'm very conscious of all those things which is really important and it's very very special you know to have all of that and uh I've had the opportunity to be on stage and to be on stage on the eighth for a big Tim Janice concert special that we do every year, Christmas special. So to know, wow. I, I can relate to the feeling of when you're on that stage, looking out at Carnegie hall, what that impact yeah. is like, what was it like for you to step out on that stage at Carnegie hall in front of that New York audience and do what you do so well, my friend. Um, it was pretty incredible. I mean, I will say it was it was a lot of New Yorkers, but it was also people from people flew from Australia, people flew from Canada, people flew from Europe. It was unbelievable, actually, um, that, that, you know, when I announced the Carnegie Hall show, fans, literally my global family flew in to see it. And, you know, my obviously my my Irish family were there as well. So, yeah, it was very special. It's probably the least nervous I've ever been for a show, because honestly, when you know, at the downbeat when the orchestra began and I walked out, I was excited, but I also felt, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. You know, I opened with it with a the Broadway song "Go the Distance." You know, um, and and you know, it's the words of that song are very much someone you know finally getting to a point that they you know they feel they worked for and they've got you know got to this amazing incredible moment, but it felt very normal to me not in an arrogant way but it just felt i was very calm i knew what i wanted to do i knew i was ready i had i had taken all the steps to be ready for that and you know i i do feel that when i get up on stage with celtic thunder every night as well you know i'm there to bring people on a journey i'm you know 12 years into it i i i know how to connect with people um and I, you know, I, I, I always try and get a great sense of the room of the audience and what they're feeling. And um, obviously, I have great material to do. It's, there's so many great Irish songs. I have great, you know, bandmates in, in Celtic Thunder. You know, when I tour by myself, I work with some incredible people. So, um, you know, I, I think at this point in my career, it's, it's, um, I feel very content. And, um, you know, as, as, as I mentioned, a lot of people even tuning in today, they've, they, they know me as well as nearly as well as my family at this point and, and and they've built a real connection with me beyond just the music so it's a very special thing and and um i feel i feel truly blessed well it really is my friend and we love having the opportunity to catch up with you since we saw each other last and celebrate some of the cool things that you're doing as well there is his music for the holidays. Make sure you can grab that, pick that up as well. There's Celtic Thunder's Christmas, which is really important. Of course, they've got their fabulous. I've had a chance to hear it. It really is a good one. You're going to want to add it to your Celtic Thunder collection, folks. Odyssey, brand new album, four days from now. Don't forget their stage it's. And uh, you guys tend to have a lot of fun on stage, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we did a photo. At the end of it, I'm not sure what's going on there, Jim. Don't ask. Me. Yeah, that's uh, like, but, but you're leading the but, pack. It looks like. <laughs> yeah, there's a few. There's a few messers among us. Yeah, yeah. Neil Byrne, uh, he, he just he just needed a rest. He had worked pretty hard that night. So, um, yeah. No, listen. It's it's been a wonderful few months. We're excited for next year. I'm sure we'll be chatting before our, our next tour. And um, we plan to get out again in the fall. There's lots to come. But listen, this week. It's all about the new album. It's it's been five years That's kind of right. in the works, and we're excited about it, and looking forward to seeing lots of fans, you know, later in the week, as well. And you know, thanks to you, Jim, for for having me and, and for constantly supporting Irish artists in particular. I know it's close to your heart, and um, coming from an Irish family, so we, you know, we really, really appreciate all that you do. Obviously, we know you so well through your work with public television over the years. So. Uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled and um hope to hope to see you very soon and and i'm just watching all the comments come in from all the fans from all over the world i hope <laughs> they're coming in we it's always a com combination of the celtic thunder thunderheads and their your fans your fans celtic thunders fans and then our gym master show levities they call themselves the levities because oh, yeah. the show is a That's lot of that. light love and levity and i said it too fast and i said levity 
And they became, they said, we're now your Lovety squad. This is Lovety Hall. You're Mr. Lovety. And the guests are part of the Lovety family, which is Love really it. cool because the world needs more of that. I know you got to scoot off. You have another, you yeah. got to do real quick, but thanks for the time. Congratulations on the album, the fabulous tour you just had, your tour. Best of luck for the holidays. Best to you and your family. Thanks. Say hi to the rest of the Celtic Thunder guys for me, and uh, we will keep the light on for you. You're welcome back anytime, my friend, and hope you enjoyed the time with me as much as I have with you, Emmett. Great conversation. Thanks, James. Keep up the great work, sir, and we'll see you soon. Absolutely. Cheers. Take care. Safe travels, my friend. And the Cahill here on the show. And I want to tell you a couple of things. He has to scoot off because it's a really busy time for him. He's got another conversation to do. Uh, very busy. He was actually in a hotel room in New York City. Don't go anywhere, folks. We have a couple of cool things we want to tell you about and show you. Of course, we're talking about Odyssey. Now, if you want to get an opportunity to get the pre-sale, there is the link, the direct exclusive link to get the pre-sale of Odyssey, which is really something very, very special. This was the very first time that uh, Emmett Cahill was here on the Gym Master Show Live series. This is our Entertainment Lifestyle Celebrity Talk Show series where we have done thousands of episodes. And I want to let you know as well, there is the cover of the album. Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? And he was telling us a little bit of behind the scenes and really, really cool to have Emmett on the show. We will have him back. I know you guys have asked for him, so we worked to have him here on the show. And uh, we've also done episodes, several episodes, where Neil Burns has been on our show and Ryan Kelly's been here a couple of times. Damian McGinty's been a guest on the Gym Master Show Live series. Colin Keegan has been here as well. Emmett O'Hanlon has been here. He's now with Trinity. He was with us recently. Uh, all of the ladies from Celtic Woman have been here. Sir James Galway has been here. Phil Coulter has been here. A lot of Irish artists uh, as well. Keith Harkin has been on our show as well. You can see all those episodes archived on our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. All those episodes, all those conversations, all those great guests, plus well over a thousand, 20 more episodes with guests from Hollywood, television, music, film, stage, Broadway, comedy, sports, inspiration from all around the world, the guests come. As I mentioned, I've known the guys from uh, Celtic Thunder ever since they came to the United States and they were featured on PBS with their very first special and we've stayed in touch. Now, of course, I'm sure you can name all the guys in this picture. This was backstage when I actually introduced them on stage and also handled their meet and greet, which was really cool. Damian McGinty there, Neil Byrne, Ron Kelly, and of course, Emmett in that shot. And it was really, really cool. But again, we've stayed uh, in contact. And whenever, you know, when I mentioned that I started this series, all the guys said, hey, we'll come on the show. I love what you're doing. And of course, we pay homage to George Donaldson, of course, who uh, is no longer with us, but he was somebody very, very special. Um, again, all the different guys that have been in the group over the years and uh, still with it. Really, really cool. And uh, I want to let you know as well. I'm going to take a look at some of the comments. And uh, we've tried to sprinkle a few on the screen. If you enjoyed this episode, give our episode like they're doing. See that thumbs up that uh, Emmett is giving you there? Give this episode a thumbs up like. And we have a few more things we want to show you before we wrap. But give this episode a thumbs up like. Drop a comment on the YouTube channel. What do you love about Celtic Thunder? Uh, who are some of your favorites? What are your favorite songs? Have you seen them in concert? Drop a comment. Be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, for episodes like this and all the great guests. And there you go. It's from a recent concert event, uh, which is from the Odyssey Tour. Just want to show you again that uh, opportunity exists to get this album, which uh, we here exclusively have had the opportunity to tell you about pretty much in advance. Now you can learn about everything Celtic Thunder by going to their website too, CelticThunder.com. And a really good conversation with Emmett. Uh, again, he's a big fan of the Gym Master Show Life series. We've had all the guys on and now uh, to have Emmett on with us as well has been fantastic. He will be back. We'll have him back. We'll have the other guys back as well. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. And if you joined us late, or you want to see this episode again, we archive 
all of the Gym Master Show Live series episodes. They're on the YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, so you can see this again. You can share it on social media. Matter of fact, you can find me on social media. You can find me at Gym Masters TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is X. So come like, follow, subscribe, uh, you know, connect with us. We love connecting with our lovely viewers from around the world. And again, uh, we've been very uh, supportive of not just Irish music, but all kinds of music and, and performances and amazing conversations as well. And uh, yeah, really, really fantastic. Now, uh, Margaret, he has been, he was on our show. Ronan was on with us on an episode we did with Emmett O'Hanlon with the Irish trio Trinity. You know, the Irish trio, which is relatively new, Trinity. Uh, Ronan was with us not that long ago, a couple of months ago. And if you didn't see that episode with Emmett O'Hanlon, who used to also be with Celtic Thunder, check it out in the archives. Uh, that is available to see as well. And yeah, if you didn't see when Ronan was on the show, Ronan was on with Emmett O'Hanlon just a couple of months ago go when uh he was with trinity which he's with with emmett but he also was on the tour uh covering ryan kelly who was on the recent tour of odyssey across uh the country uh recently kathleen walker and ken if you ever want to support what we're doing super chat super emoji super stickers in the chat room and there's a super thanks heart icon on the youtube channel underneath every episode of our series Click that. That helps support what we're doing. Thank you, Kathleen. And uh, Ann Wozniak's been with our show for a long time, several years. Nice to see you, Ann. I know you worked wonders to be able to join us live because uh, I know it's sometimes difficult when it's in the afternoon. We generally do a show. Matter of fact, we have another show coming up tonight here with a legendary, very, very well-known and beloved television stage and film actor, Stuart Pankin is going to be with us, a legendary Hollywood actor. He was in Dinosaurs. He was in Not Necessarily the News and so much more. He is coming on tonight. The incredible, iconic actress, Sharon Gless from Cagney and Lacey and so much more. She's coming up soon as well. Marie Nesbitt from Celtic Woman was just on a, our show uh, last week, a couple of nights ago. She played live for us. Celtic Woman, they're celebrating their 20th anniversary as well it's amazing so much going on right and we celebrate it all on the gym master show live series for all of you celtic thunder odyssey that is the name of the tour they just had that is the name of the new album and again it is uh, filled with lots of great music a lot of your favorites and uh, you're going to thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it get it. And of course, as I mentioned, they also do their stage -its too. They have a lot of fun with the stage -its. You can check that out as well. And uh, of course, brand new album. We're so excited to have this exclusive opportunity to tell you about that here on the Gym Master Show live series. And also Celtic Thunder, if you love the Christmas music, you know, we talk a lot about Christmas music. We've had so many singers, musicians, and artists who do Christmas albums on our series too. Celtic Thunder has their Christmas album as well. And Emmett has his, The Spirit of Christmas. He's heading out on tour. Again, he just came to us live from not Ireland, but uh, in New York, because he's getting ready to uh, do his tour as well. And again, here's some cool shots from odyssey and some promo shots that uh, were sent to us exclusively by the team at celtic thunder who we love we love the guys we love the behind the scenes team that we know and of course sharon brown uh, created this incredible group and uh, i know her personally uh worked with her and met her many many times through my work on American television here on public television. And uh, yeah, we've always been a big supporter and, and Celtic Thunder, big supporter of uh, stuff I've always done. And I really, really appreciate that as well. Like we say, only the best on JMS. Let's take a look at a few more of the comments that are coming in here. We love this. You are very welcome, Alessandra. Jen, thank you very much as well. Uh, Jen watching in Pennsylvania, USA. Katie here. I am uh, definitely considered a thunderhead. Celtic Thunder music is so good. And now you are a Gym Master Show lovety. Do you know that? You know what a lovety is? It's pretty cool. Um, I said two, three years ago, three and a half years ago when I started the show, I said the show has a lot of light, love, and levity. And one time I said it too fast and I said the word lovety. 
And when I said levity, combining love and levity, our viewers fell in love with the word and they said, man, we love that word. Guess what? You're now Mr. Levity. This is Levity Hall. So if you ever see them say Mr. Levity or Levity Hall, now you know what that means. And they're the Levity squad, the viewers and supporters. And uh, the guests are Levities and part of the Levity family. So that's really cool. Once you're here, you are part of our Levity family. And catch all the past episodes in the archives at Gym Masters TV and look for lots of great guests coming up. We're here just about every day broadcasting from the United States. Thank you, Jim, for having Evan on your show. Lindo Dell, so good to see you as well. Long time member of our Lovety, Lovety squad. Nice to have you here. Truly been a treat to see Emmett on your show. I know you guys, you guys asked and we worked hard. Yeah, the tour was really, really terrific. You know, they, they basically sold out everywhere they went, which was really nice. Margaret, yes, you can check out the episode with Emmett O'Hanlon and Ronan uh, being on the show. And again, you guys that love Celtic Thunder, check out our previous episode where Neil Byrne was on our show a couple of times. You can see those episodes on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. And on a couple of them, he also performed. Uh, Damian McGinty has been here on a number of occasions. You can see those episodes. Keith Harkin, we did a wonderful episode around uh, holiday time and he was in Portugal. See that episode? Emmett O'Hanlon's been a guest on our show a couple of times. Ronan has been here with uh, Emmett. Colm Keegan has been here a number of times. Ryan Kelly has been a guest on the Gym Master Show Live series uh, as well, which is fantastic. Really nice. You love this sweater, huh? I know you you, you like the different clothes I wear. This is so incredible. Jen in Pennsylvania, you know how soft this is? This is like it's like a baby's bottom. <laughs> it is really, really, it's a very light, thin wool, Jen. And it has a hoodie in the back too. You know, I wasn't going to put it over. <laughs> Don't want to mess the hair. Uh, but it has a hoodie too. It's really cool. It's very, very soft. And, you know, it's uh, it's not winter here, but it is the week of Thanksgiving in the United States. And so, you know, we've got something nice and comfortable. And thanks for noticing the sweater. I know you always notice our set. And you always notice uh, the clothing that I put on. Uh, you're very welcome, Anne. Love to have uh, you tuned in and watching and commenting and everybody here. You know, I'm an interactive host, so I like to comment and recognize everybody. Kathy Short, we love Kathy Short from good old Cleveland, uh, Ohio, USA. You are very, very uh, welcome, Kathy. Happy Thanksgiving to you as well. And uh, as I mentioned, Ronan was on the show with Emmett O'Hanlon just a couple months ago. Look for the episode that talks about Trinity, which is the name of that group. That was really great. You love our Irish crack, Slancha. <laughs> Take a look at some of the other comments. Thanks, Emmett. Thanks, Jim, for bringing Emmett on your show. Paula, so good to see you. Love it. Paula is here on the Gym Masters show. And come see us again. Check out some of the other episodes with some of your favorite guests from all categories of life. We always have a good time. Lots of laughs. Great conversation. And so much more. Denise, so nice to see you. Denise, hola. Uh, a pleasure to have you here as well. Linda as well. And Margaret. And of course, Kathleen here as well. She's in New York City. And that's where Emmett was as well. Anne's going to see uh, Emmett in Jacksonville. And Kathy wishes him well on the tour because he has his tour. Celtic Thunder just wrapped their tour, but he has his tour as well. Mary, so good to see you. And again, Margaret, thank you for all these great comments. Really, really nice. Let's take a look at a few more here. We appreciate your taking time to not only watch and support what we're doing at the Gym Master Show Live Series, but leaving comments and interacting as well. Marshall Watson is here. Thank you for sharing your talent with your fans. We all thank you, Marsha, for saying that about you know what we all do in this uh, crazy industry that we're all in here. And uh, let's see if we can scroll in. We don't want to miss anybody uh jane watching in sweden she is here uh thank you for your comments jane as well and jason bender is here good to see you and uh, you, paula loves the banter between everybody and that is fantastic thank you very much for commenting and saying that and um Emmett's singing makes you cry, according to gary good to see you gary watching in iowa usa Right now, you know, people are watching around the world, so you're getting a chance to be seen around the world right here with these fabulous comments. 
which is nice. Uh, really, really nice. A lot of uh, regulars, Gym Master Show, uh, lovely regulars are here and a lot of new folks, as well as the Celtic Thunder super fans are here as well. And uh, Katie, thank you. Appreciate that. Lindo Dell. Synth Sonic is here. Synth Sonic, it's so good to see you again. Welcome back to the Gym Master Show Live series. And again, we'll tell you a couple more things before we go. Yes, I know you're excited that Emmett was here and we worked behind the scenes to uh, make it happen for you. And again, the other guys that have been here as well. But uh, again, if you also like Phil Coulter, Sir James Galway, if you enjoy Celtic Woman and a lot of the Irish themed artists, they've all come through here. Many great artists from Ireland uh, have been here collectively and individually. And uh, we love that. And again, not just the Irish artists, we've had extraordinary people here, major celebrities, childhood stars, some of your favorites from TV and movies and film have been here. Inspirational people have been here as well. And um, let's see, Natasha, good to see you as well. Natasha, thank you very much for watching and enjoying the Gym Master Show Life series. Don't forget again to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like, thumbs up. And uh, Linda and Mary and Gary and Denise and, <laughs> and uh, so many. Karen is here as well. Karen uh, Strength, thank you very much for your comment and for being here on the Gym Master Show Life series. If this was anybody's first time, come see us again because we have so many great guests that have been here that return to our show. A lot of them say, hey, when can I come back? And, um, and Emmett will be back too. Uh, we wanted to type. We wanted to be exclusive with announcing Odyssey here on our show for all the Celtic Thunder fans, and then, of course, uh, you know I've had a great relationship with all the guys from Celtic Thunder, knowing them off the air personally. Um, it's been great to celebrate, you know, their music, and they celebrate the Gym Masters show too. They tell everybody about it. They share the social media links and they share our episode links, which I think is great. You know, it takes a village. Um, I support them. They support me and my work. And I really appreciate that. Karen, fantastic. And Paula and Margaret, Alessandra here as well from the Carolinas of the USA and uh, Barbara Rudolph. Good to see you, Barbara. Hope you're doing well, Barbara. Hi, Emmett and Jim and everyone. The tour was phenomenal. They literally are off the heels of that incredible tour. And Mary says, Odyssey is a wonderful album. So you, so here you got some comments coming in from folks who have it, love it. I love sailing. Absolutely. And um, this is really nice. And Denise, you knew about it because of Anne Wozniak posting it. Well, gang, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which doesn't cost anything, just click the black or red subscribe button on our channel. Make sure you click the notification bell. There's a little bell icon. Click that bell icon. So that way you'll be notified from us, the Gym Master Show, anytime we do episodes, which basically for the last three and a half years since I started the show, because you guys know I work in television and radio professionally and film and stage here in the United States, uh, United States. So we started this show as an extension of that work. If you click the notification bell when you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you know what happens. You'll get a notification from our show about all the episodes in advance and the guests, who they are, the time the shows are on. Because This is a special afternoon episode of our show because we know there's a lot of folks watching in Europe, in the UK, in Ireland, Scotland, and, and other areas. So we wanted to do it earlier so Emmett could you know, go about his day because he's got a busy day today. I was just on the air. I did four radio shows, took the radio hat off, jumped in this chair. We're here with you now. <laughs> and then I have a, um, a television shoot at in about 15 minutes. And then uh, we're back at 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific with legendary actor Stuart Penkin is here for, coming to us from Hollywood, California. But uh, we love doing these shows for all of you, the series, The Gym Master Show Live. And thanks, everybody, for all of these great comments, all the levity from we see a lot of our faithful longtime levities here. But if this is your first time here, nice to have you with us. Spread the word about our show. A lot of you earlier were very excited about the show. But the show kicked right off right at the top of the hour. 
And um, I'll show you in just a second how you can get the album. We've got a lot of great, great, great folks. Gary, thank you very much. Uh, lovely to Gary as well. And um, nice to see you too, Kathy, in Cleveland, uh, Ohio, USA, and, and Mary, and, and everybody, again, taking a look at some of these interactive comments. We do this on our show regularly, so if you're watching for the first time, this is kind of like what it's about, and we like to interact with our faithful, lovely supporters and viewers. And again, if you want to support what we're doing, give us a uh, super chat, super emoji, super sticker in the chat room, or when the show's not on, click the heart icon. There's a little heart icon under every episode, and that helps support what we do as well. Um, yeah, all these great episodes. So a lot of comments here, so many. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate all the enthusiasm as we get for all of our episodes and our shows. And uh, Linda's going to be back at 7 Eastern for our very special Hollywood legendary guest, Stuart Pankin. We look forward to that. And Julie is here. Julie, love you from the Big Easy XOXO right back at you from Lovety Hall and Mr. Lovety and the Lovety Show, as everybody calls it. We love seeing that. And um, yeah, that's cool. And uh, Margaret, we are very, very happy you enjoyed the show. And the pleasure is all mine. The pleasure is all mine. And, um, and Margaret uh, lives in Canada. Nice to see you. I noticed you're posting that. And uh, Jen Berry in Pennsylvania says, we always come home to Jim and his show. We do have a wonderful family of viewers and supporters here, don't we, Jen Berry in Pennsylvania? You know, when I started this show, as of today, around this time, three and a half years ago, I didn't realize that it would grow and explode into what the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Celebrity Talk Show Series has become, which is extraordinary. We have viewers that watch and support from all across the United States and Canada, Mexico, all throughout North America, South America, our friends who watch and support and guests that come from, our guests come from all around the world too. We've had guests from throughout Europe and viewers that watch throughout Europe and Africa, and Asia, Australia. We say hello to everybody watching there live or who will be watching this in the archives later. New Zealand, Iceland. I mean, it's amazing where we hear from in terms of the um, location and geographical locations here on beautiful, the big blue marble, planet Earth. It's been really absolutely cool and amazing. Just want to give you another uh, shout out here as far as the album. Again, we appreciate uh, my buddy Emmett Cahill joining us here on the Gym Master Show live series. And again, these were just a few photos. There's many, many more of the guys through the years when I've been backstage with them or on stage with them or interviewing them on television. There, of course, Ryan Kelly and George Donaldson. We were in the uh, studio uh, at Public Television. And I know you love all these guys, Damien and Ryan. And there was Keith and Neil and Michael and just so many over the years. Uh, and there's Odyssey. So check that out and we'll show you again. Uh, the pre-sale is right there. And CelticThunder.com is the uh, website for Celtic Thunder. And it's truly my pleasure to you know announce all of this and share all of this with all of you here uh, in Lovety Hall land on the Gym Master Show Life series. We're going to scoot off. I haven't eaten a thing today. If you watch our show often, you hear me say that a lot. We're so busy with these shows and then all the radio shows I do and all the television work. It gets a little crazy around here at Lovety Hall. So I got to eat something. <laughs> I'm going to go eat. It's good times uh, with our friend Emmett. He'll be back. We'll have him back. You know, it's a busy time. He's got to do a lot of pre-promo for the um, his tour that's coming up for Christmas. And then also the Celtic Thunder album. Congratulations to Emmett and all our friends at Celtic Thunder on their brilliant tour they just had upcoming things they're doing, and of course, for Odyssey, the fabulous new 
album. Lots of great songs on there. We talked about some of them uh, today on this episode of the Gym Master Show Live series. So if you enjoy what we do, you enjoy all these guests, you enjoy all this banter and conversation, and you enjoy all the other viewers who celebrate what we do here, let us know. Like, comment, subscribe, drop us a note, tell us what it is you about about our series that you really enjoy. And, uh, and we love that. And they do have a good old time on stage. <laughs> and there they are when Ronan again was uh, filling in and again, the stage it's and all the other stuff. And of course, being a guest here exclusively on the Gym Master Show live series is pretty, pretty cool. So if this was your first time, thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And again, like, comment, subscribe, share, tell everybody about uh, our series. I am your host, Jim Masters, thanking you and you and you and you and everybody watching around the world for your time, for your love, for your support, for your levity. And uh, do come see us again. We're back tonight with another episode. Really great Hollywood legendary guests. And we've got guests just about every day for all of you. You can find us uh, again on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. Share the uh, levity on your social media. Uh, subscribe, click the notification bell, and uh, just come celebrate good times, life, great celebrity friends of mine and guests who come by the show to say hello and to interact with all of you here on the Gym Master Show Life Series. So one more time, we don't say goodbye. We say see you later around here. We say slancha and all the rest. Emmett, thanks for being with us. And thank you for being with us and being interactive with us here on the Gym Master Show Life series. Don't forget one more time to give it a like, subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed, thank you so very much. We really appreciate that. Click the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And leave a comment on the YouTube channel in the comment section. Let us know, you know, what do you love about our series and what you love about this episode. We love you all. Thanks for stopping by Lovety Hall and the Gym Master Show Live series. We'll be back. We'll catch you on the next one from the Broadcast Center, from Lovety Hall here in the United States and the Gym Masters Show. This is your host, Jim Masters, thanking you for your time this time till next time here on JMS. We love you all. See you again soon. Don't forget, as we always say, be good to one another. Take care of one another. Share some levity. The world can really use some levity right about now. And uh, take time for yourself. It's really important. Love you all. We'll see you on the next episode of the Gym Master Show Live. Slancha and cheers. <laughs>